Good evening and salutations, my Days of Allies fans. Let's start off with Lonnie for a minute. This character has done some stuff in my time of watching this show that has thoroughly pissed me off. And the thing that really bothers me about this character is that she acts like she doesn't make mistakes. You know, she's act like, you know, she acts like she's never done anything wrong where she has to feel forgiven for it. You know? Hey. Watching this scene with her and Paulina just reminded me just how much I cannot stand this woman. So Theo and um, Abe are, you know, well, Abe is you trying to get Theo to eat, and Theo is worried, he's panicking, he's mostly panicking for the fact that he feels like he's going to lose her once she remembers, you know, her love for Ben. Now, I don't really give a damn about that, I, I actually tell you the truth, I find that, um, I find it to be quite enjoyable. Find that to be quite enjoyable, not because I'm a dick, not just because I'm a dick, but mostly for the fact that he knew exactly what he was getting into when he decided to carry on whatever he wants to call his thing with Sierra. When he's all worried and everything like that, he sees a picture of, you know, Sierra and Ben, you know, reward for X amount of money. Now, at first, he's upset about the fact that, you know, oh, they're not a couple, blah, 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 blah. But, you know, he's like, you know, whatever. It is what it is. Hopefully, it'll do something. Paulina comes out of nowhere, and Paulina's like, you know, I hope it will help. And, you know, she explains that, you know, listen, I want to sit there and try to do what I could to help get back Sierra for you. Um, now, both of them are, are pretty shocked. Well, Abe is really shocked, and Theo is like, thank you. And they're both... You know, kind of like, you know, it's, it's, you know, we appreciate what you're doing. Lonnie comes in out of nowhere and is just automatically in full bitch mode. And here's the thing. I understand, like, I, I get her anger towards Paulina. Because Paulina did a really... poopy thing, okay, the way she went about it, her whole plan, one, was just stupid as hell, and two, seemed like she just didn't give a damn about anyone in that town, including her own family, about what she was going to do, so I understand everyone's anger, and to be honest, I felt the exact same, I mean, not to the extent that Lonnie is taking it, but I understood why people were upset with her. But with that being said, people make mistakes. I don't know if I would call it so much of a mistake, but for the sake of this argument, people make mistakes. And she's doing what she can to sit there and try to fix it. No one's perfect. But yet, Lonnie comes in there with her high horse and they're saying, at first, she's practically sitting there telling Paulina to just leave and get the hell out of here. Then she starts crapping on the note. And, you know, she starts getting to the whole, oh, well, it can generate the wrong thing, and blah, 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 blah. And it's at the while, it's like, I, I, she might have been right about everything that she said as far as, like, you know, offering rewards and stuff like that. But to be honest, the way she said it, I just didn't care. Like, I just completely did not give two Fs about what she was saying. And when Paulina was like, you know, I'm the person that did it, she just goes off on her. It's like... Everything that she's sneaked through trying to do to make amends to sit there and, and kind of like redeem herself meant absolutely nothing. Now, not that long ago, wasn't this the same woman that helped Kristen out, helped Kristen escape? Um, and because of that, you forced, you forced Eli to sit there and kind of just lie and pretend it didn't happen and kind of got Eli to go along with your plan, even though he could have lost his job, he could have been in jail. All sorts of things could have happened to her. She had no problem getting him to do that. She had no problem since they're letting Kristen go. Regardless of all the crap that she's dead. All the crap that Kristen did. But you want to sit there and come at her full force 
Like she is the devil incarnate. So she just starts being all nasty towards him. I mean, just completely nasty. And I'm sitting there looking at, I'm, I'm looking at Theo and Abe, and I'm like, so y'all just gonna stand there and just watch Lonnie just go off on her? Y'all just, y'all cool with that? Like, really? None of y'all have the stones to sit there and say anything. Y'all just gonna let her just, okay. All right. Now, I think Abe might have said something at one point, and, La and, and Paulina left. And A was like, you went too far. And of course, this stupid bitch saw nothing wrong with what she said and was like, no, I'm sitting there trying to use to protect you. And blah, 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 blah. And yada, yada, yada. And she just goes off. And, you know, Theo's like, you know, can we just kind of just table this whole thing because I'm still worried and maybe we can kind of just get back to whatever you got going on later on. Now, at some point, Theo leaves and... You know, Abe was like, listen, I get what she did. And no one's more upset about it than me. But she's trying to do right. She's trying to make amends. Why can't you let her? I... <laughs> it's hard for me to like this woman. It really is. Because when she gets on her on her high horse and she starts doing the stuff that she's doing now, it's like... Really? It's almost like she's acting like her crap doesn't stink also. Like she's never made a mistake and asked for forgiveness. But she has no problem sitting there crapping on somebody else that's doing the same. It, it just, it, mm, 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 mm. Um, Now Theo does go over to um, Paulina's and practically apologizes for his sister's nasty, bitchy behavior. Um, and says, thank you for helping me out. And that's when, um... That's when Paulina was like, you know, I might, I might have actually found her. Now Claire and Sierra, Claire and um, Ali are just. These women are just clueless. They are just literally. It's. <laughs> it was almost laughable. Just how tone deaf they are, about the whole situation, being in jail, you know. Now at some point. Because, you know, they're complaining about jail. And at one point, you know, um, you know, I was like, you know, I'm worried about Henry. Is he okay? You know, like, um, I'm glad that somebody was able to watch him. I'm, I'm glad somebody was able to watch him, too. Allie, I'm really glad some... Now, at some point, you know, Bella's not there talking to Eli about trying to let him out. And Eli's like, listen, I'll let them out the minute that they sit there and tell me where Sierra's at. So they both go in there. And they both give him the situation. Now at some point, Ali, you know, when they talk about jail time and stuff like that, I was like, wait, what's what's the worst that can happen to us? What's the worst that can happen to us? I'm sitting there looking at this woman like, Ali, was you was you just born yesterday? I don't understand how any of this is not dawning on either of y'all two more eyes. I, I'm just I'm looking at this whole situation and I'm just like, you know what? <laughs> it's amazing because Claire, Claire a lot of times just come across as a bit tone deaf. Just kind of an idiot. Ali a little bit more. But you put those two together. I mean, it's, it's, it's a bit comedic and also just like, damn, you girls are stupid. So they're both just kind of clueless. And, you know, once... um. You know, Bella's like, listen, y'all can get charged. It could be on your permanent record. Y'all can go to prison. Prison. They both look at each other like... I'm like, so it's... I was like, reality is sinking in, right? I literally put down my nose. Reality is sinking in, right? So, so y'all gonna do the right thing? I mean, listen, I get it. Ride or die. All getting well. But you got a, you got a son, and you... You you gotta be smarter than this. So I'm sitting there thinking reality's gonna set in. After they talked to Trip and Chanel, who were arguing. Well, let's be fair. Trip was sitting there arguing with Chanel about, you know, helping out and supporting um Ali because that was a thing and that needed to happen. And after they kind of squared that away, they get up there. They talk to Ali and um Claire. And um, you know, at some point. I think this is after, so maybe before. 
Um, Eli is like, yo, listen, they can go free the minute that they give me Sierra's whereabouts. They both look at each other and they're like, we're going to be fine. Just make sure Henry's okay. I'm like, so let me get this straight. <clears throat> Just... You two morons are facing prison time. And you're just like, nope, we're good. Now, 1% of me is like, I got to respect the hell out of that. To some extent. Because you're facing jail time. You're, you're literally the definition of ride or die, ride or die friends. Facing jail time. Because you wouldn't give up Ben. So... As bad as I feel about this, 1% of me is like, damn. That's, that's a level of friendship that comes around every once in a blue moon. With that being said, Allie, you have a child. Okay? You have a son. And you're just like, I'm going to risk jail time to protect Ben. This isn't one of those things, and this isn't even a situation of, you know, the, the cops are corrupt or whatever, they could be snitched, they're going after Ben, killing him, and you're just like, I'm not going to do it. This isn't that situation. This is a situation of him just trying to get her to remember something. You could basically sit there and say, I did my best, but I have a son, I hope you understand. And Ben would gladly understood, would have gladly understood. Allie... This isn't worth jail time. Come on. I get it. You're his friend and everything like that. But you can sit there and say, I tried. I really did try. I gave you all the time and all everything. I think it was a whole day that passed by. I think you could sit there and say you felt your super friend quota. But, uh, nope. Um, they're not doing that. And they're, they're just, you know. Being completely and utterly morons about the whole situation and not grat. I guess I'm sitting there wondering. I was like, is it gonna really sink in when they actually sentenced y'all to jail? And y'all are actually in jail. W will it sink in then? Obviously, it's not gonna go that far. But well, they don't know that. Um, sitting there complaining about jail and not, you know, like sleeping and everything else like that. I was like, y'all were in a holding cell. I mean, y'all aren't even a whole, you're in the interrogation room. And you're whining about that. <laughs> ah, that's cute. Um, I'm not going to lie. Ben and Sierra, the beginning of this whole episode seemed like rinse and repeat. It seemed like rinse and repeat. It was the same crap over and over and over they eat Chinese food. He tries to get her to remember. She starts acting all bitchy. And actually, you know what? I'm gonna sit there and take that back. She wasn't acting bitchy. She was just acting all snarky. There's levels to these things. She did actually tone down the bitchiness, which I do appreciate. Um, she was acting snarky. He was sitting there trying to get to her to remember. She was acting snarky. It was just the same pattern that we've seen for five other days. Of whatever, you know, this is. The only thing that actually happened of any importance is that, you know, he was like, listen, I'm give up. I'm, I'm done. I can sit there and say I tried. All you have to do is sit there and eat this fortune cookie. You know, open up the fortune cookie. You don't even have to eat. Just, just open it up. We get a good minute and a half of her explaining why she doesn't want to do it and that's stupid and blah 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 um finally she opens it up the only thing it said then says is yes and for a good second it actually looked like Sierra was a little disappointed like I'm like that's it that's it nothing happened was something supposed to happen Ben at this point I wouldn't even sit there and say he's disappointed he's just like He's been disappointed at this point, and just, it's like almost beating, I don't want to sit there and say beating a dead horse, but 
I don't know. I guess it's like hitting someone that's already unconscious. Maybe. But um, after that point, she's walking out. Now she tell you the truth. She's not even walking out. At that point, she's not even walking out. She's about to walk out. She stands there for a good second, and then the memories start to slowly come in. You know, she does remember about the fortune cookie and their date and everything like that. And she tries to deny that first. She's like, no, 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 I don't remember anything. She remembers like two or three things. Then she's about to walk out, and Ben is like, no, just, you're feeling it. Just let it happen. Let it happen. Let it come all out. Let it just flow right on out. And then all these memories start to come back. All the memories start to come back. And then she looks at Ben and she's like, Ben. And then she says something. I don't remember exactly what she said. But I'm not going to lie. There was something. There was a post on Instagram about Ben or the actual actor snippet saying that fans are going to really love um, what it's leading up to. I would sit there and say that, I mean, listen, I'm not really a fan of couples or anything like that, but I would sit there and say, at the very least of this, you know, long overdue months and months and whatever, you know, of her not remembering, I can honestly sit there and say, one part of me is like, oh, thank God this is almost, this is over. She finally remembers, but if I'm going to be a little bit of an optimist, yeah, that was actually a good scene. They, like, not all the other stuff, but that last, you know, a couple of seconds of her remembering it. I'm not going to lie. It was actually a good moment. Um, it took a hell of a long time to get there. and I would never want to go through that again with any other storyline ever. And I would totally encourage anyone that's ever thinking about pulling something off like that. Do not do it. It is not worth it. You will lose more fans than you will gain. With that being said, yeah, it was good. It was actually good. Um, that was actually a really good moment just because it was like, she actually remembers. It's like, okay, this is this is good. It, it, it was a good moment. I would definitely sit there and say it was a good moment. Um... Yeah, it was a good moment. I, I, I did actually enjoy that part. So, to Ben, or the actor that said, you know, fans will love it. Yeah. He was right. The build up to it was ass, and it took way too long, but he was right. I did actually love it. And I loved it for a couple of reasons, and, well, <clears throat> just me being a dick, um... Theo is uh, about to receive some very, very, very bad news, and, um, this feels, <laughs> this partly feels wrong, because I'm not a dick, okay, I'm not, but, uh, I'm, I'm gonna enjoy that, I'm gonna enjoy it, I'm gonna enjoy it, okay, I'm gonna enjoy it, and that, that's, I feel guilty for saying that, but, at the same time, this guy literally set himself up to receive all of what's about to happen. I mean, you literally took her to South Africa, built this whole fantasy life. I mean, you were just on this... You were literally living just... Uh, you were living in a fantasy world for months, okay? Most people live in a fantasy world day by day, maybe a few minutes, maybe a couple hours. This man actually had a good six or three months to live in this little bubble of his. I think it's well overdue that reality comes crashing in on him. And um, I know that me Smith is saying that I'm a dick because I'm going to enjoy it. But I'm a dick because I'm going to enjoy it. Now, I say that now, but seeing the look on his face, it might... It might persuade me to um, not enjoy it so much and not enjoy it at all. I guess we have to wait and see. But for right now, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and let me just double check my notes.
I think that's about it. If I miss anything, please write it down in the comment section below. I want to thank everyone for watching. Be safe. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. See you in the next video.